Hey everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video was actually inspired by someone else's video. Um, so I decided to try my hand at making my own incense. And the inspiration from this video came from a tutorial that Brooklyn Jade did. I will leave the link to their channel in the description below. But they did a video where they explained the process for creating their own hand rolled incense. And me being the type of person that I am, I like to make my own stuff. I'm a creator, I've crocheted for years, um, I embroider, you know, I do all kinds of stuff. But making incense was something I had never tried in this particular way. I've made my own like incense powder before for use on charcoal and in an oil burner, but that's different. Um, so I wanted to take you through the process today. Okay, so we're ready to sit down and make the incense. And as I said before, this video was inspired by Brooklyn Jade's video, but I used a tutorial from Incense Dragon, which is where I got my ingredients, um, or the main ingredient that you need for incense, which is the, the powder, the mako powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind up the juniper that I have because I want juniper to be the fragrance of my incense. Juniper is a protective herb and it's one that is commonly recommended by me to use in place of white sage if you're not an indigenous person. So when so in making the incense, I was reading different tutorials and how to's pretty much on doing this. And they all said, if you're going to use dry herbs, you wanna make sure that you get them as powdered as possible. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using my pestle and mortar to powder up the juniper that I brought with me to Florida from Oregon. I don't have a coffee grinder, but if you're going to try this out, People have said that you can use a coffee grinder to powder your herbs if you choose to. Using a pestle and mortar is just what I have. I don't have a coffee grinder um, and my hands did hurt for, for, for a while after doing this, but I got it powdered in um, as, as much of a powder as I could. So now I'm going to take the mako powder, the tabu no ki, I think is how you say it. Um, the links for these will all be in the description below. But I'm going to take this powder and I'm going to put two tablespoons into my little bowl. And then I'm going to take my powdered juniper and I kind of measured it, but then I kind of didn't. So um, I used one tablespoon of the powdered juniper roughly because I just dumped it in there. But then you mix it all together, make sure that the powdered ingredients are all combined well. <laughs> and then we move on to the next step. So in this step, I'm adding water. Now the tutorial that I followed from Incense Dragon, their instructions that came with the mako powder that I bought said that you just need to use the mako powder your herbs and water in brooklyn jade's tutorial they do something a little different but i i didn't have all of the ingredients and i didn't want to buy all of them so when you check out brooklyn's video it's going to be a little different but that's okay um it's i think it's just a different style of making the incense so after you get water in there you want to knead it with your hands um, you can wear gloves if you want, but you want to add the water a little bit at a time Otherwise, you'll end up doing what I did and add too much because I got impatient and I just added more and more and more without mixing it first um, But you you need it kind of like a bread dough until it gets to a consistency like bread dough So it's gonna be thick. It shouldn't be too sticky if it is, just add a little bit more mako powder like I did and just keep going. And through this whole process, you know, I've never made incense before. So this was an interesting experience for me and something that I actually really enjoyed doing. And so I'm hoping that the incense turns out well. Um, if it doesn't, then I'm just going to keep experimenting because 
I had a lot of fun doing this. So the incense dough ends up looking kind of like this, not very appealing to the eyes, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna take a portion of it and put it on the, the sticks. Now these are these sticks I think are called incense blanks, I think. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but they're sticks specifically for making incense. So I played with the incense dough like Play-Doh and I rolled it out and I was gonna try at first to just put the stick directly through it, but that didn't work right for me. So I put the stick in the middle on top and then rolled the incense around it and that seemed to be that seemed to be okay that seemed to work I know there are tools you can get if you're going to continue making incense that like you put the incense dough in and then you squeeze it out it honestly reminds me of play-doh um, and then you put the stick in it and then squeeze the incense out into it and it makes it more uniform I didn't get that because I just didn't and I did it all with my hands so I ended up with a very fat looking incense stick and there it is that is the incense stick so I'm gonna go ahead and do one more just like that one that you can see I already did it there um, and then I decided I wanted to make some cones because I didn't have to mess with the stick. I like using cone incense and I just wanted to play with the dough more. <laughs> so there is my incense cone. It's adorable. I had a lot of fun doing this and making these and i'm excited to talk about them i'm excited to try them but i have to let them dry so i'm gonna let them sit for a couple of days and then we can come back and try them out and see how they work and if they work well and honestly are you even doing witchcraft if you're not getting your fingers dirty? So I made the incense on Monday. It is now Thursday, so it's been a couple of days. It has hopefully had time to dry completely and we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna light a tea light candle so that I don't use a lot of my lighter fluid. Um, and don't mind my messy incense burner that I have here. But I'm really excited to give this a shot because juniper that I used um, is one of my favorite scents, one of my favorite things to burn. So I have here, I have a cone. I have a cone that I made. And then I also have one of the sticks that I made. So we're gonna try them both and see what happens. I'm gonna light the cone first or try to I don't know So it smells like juniper. Very definitely carries the fragrance of the plant that I used, juniper. So we're gonna set this one down and see, see if it burns all the way. Um, and hopefully it's dry all the way on the inside. So now we're gonna try the stick. And the stick incense is massive compared to the stick incense that you would buy at the store because, you know, I, I rolled it myself. So, same thing, dip it in here, in the fire, let it catch. It's 
I love Juniper so much, so I'm really excited to see how well this burns, if it burns all the way, if I did something wrong. Um, so I'm going to let them burn for a minute, or if they ever, if they go out, we'll see, or if they burn all the way, we'll see too. Um, and I will catch you back here. Okay, so they're still burning, but I just noticed something that I want to show you because I think it's absolutely hilarious. And it just shows that I didn't attach the uh, incense dough 100% to the stick itself because the incense smoke is coming out of the bottom of the stick too. That's the bottom. <laughs> and that's the top. So I have incense coming out of both ends, which is absolutely hilarious to me. But it's burning and I'm happy that it's burning. Over here, the cone is still going, still going. Let's see if they burn down all the way. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, We've seen already that they light. However, I'm having difficulty keeping the cone incense lit. I'm wondering if maybe it's just not completely dry on the inside. Um, I still have a few left. I'm gonna go ahead and just try later on, but I'm so excited because the incense stick is just, it's still going strong. It smells amazing. And I'm so excited and so just happy that I decided to try making my own incense because now like the doors are wide open for whatever incense smell, I guess, I, I wanna make. I've got a whole bunch of different essential oils. I have a whole bunch of different herbs and I love the idea of tailoring incense smells, incense fragrances to different sabbats and spell work that I plan on doing. So I'm super excited. I'm so happy I ran across Brooklyn's channel. Definitely go watch their video on how they make their incense. I think they have two different videos up now. The first one that I watched was the the first one that they did was about, I think it was cinnamon and clove. The second one that they just recently did is them making lavender incense. So thank you, Brooklyn, for the inspiration. Um, I definitely recommend that everyone go check out their channel. And if you've thought about making your own incense, try it. Um, the links for the Mako powder and the incense blanks will be in the description below. It was so easy. The, the hardest part was waiting patiently for them to dry completely so that I could burn them. And I am just loving the way that they smell and it's, it's fantastic and I'm so excited. I'm gonna make so much more incense and I hope you try it too, if you want. If you try it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you check out Brooklyn's channel. Um, I definitely think that we all need to be supporting each other in this community and Brooklyn's videos are great. I love them and I am definitely subscribed to their channel. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna go hang out and enjoy the smell of my new handmade juniper incense. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make this incense. I hope you check out Brooklyn's channel. I hope you subscribe if you wanna see more of my content. If you're looking for community, I have a growing Discord server. The link for that is in the description below. If you don't do Discord, I have a Facebook group. You can find all of my social media in the description below. If you'd like to support the work that I do, I also have a Patreon and a shop. All of those links are in the description and I'll see you in my next video.
so excited. So excited that this worked. So happy. So happy, oh my goodness.